Welcome to episode 13 of A Week in the Life of a UK Student Reseller. This week, Supreme should be releasing the highly anticipated spec fridges, so we'll be sure to see if we can grab some of them. Along with, we've got a huge amount of unboxings to do this week from Supreme and a number of other sites, so stay tuned. Right, folks. This week, Supreme is releasing the Smeg fridges. The retail's around 1,200, and I expect resell around 2,000, maybe a little under, but depending on how limited, will depend on the resell. My bulk buyer also wants the Blessing shirts this week, so I'm gonna go for some of those as well. I won't have any footage in terms of video this week, just because I'll be at work, but I'll be running the drop anyway, so you'll be able to see the live cop nevertheless. Supreme should also be releasing the Air Forces again this week, so we'll put that in after if they do restock. If they don't, then you won't see it, obviously. But yeah, hopefully we can grab some this week, so stay tuned. Right folks, so another package came in the mail today, so let's unbox it and see what's inside. So, so this is the Sakai Vapor Waffle in the sesame colourway. We did win a raffle from Foot Patrol, so I'm pretty chuffed about that. We did win both colours last time of the Vapor Waffle, so I'm glad we were able to pick up one. I should have a, another Dark Iris on the way as well, so we definitely should nevertheless. I'll show you what they look like in hand and give you my initial thoughts, so let's have a look. So, here's what they are in hand. Um, Cool, cool colourway nevertheless. I think the blue and the beige complements the shoe well. And nevertheless, it is a cool silhouette. However, I just don't see that I can pull it off personally, just because of the chunky back of the sole. But I can definitely see the appeal of it. It is a nice colourway, definitely. I definitely rate the colourway, but it's just not, not something I'm interested in personally, just because of the bulky nature of the shoe. But yeah, at the moment, these are sitting around the 300 pound mark so about 140 on top so not too bad the base sizes do tend to increase in time over time so I think I'm probably gonna hold this one as I've still got the other ones from last time and they've increased in value so definitely worth holding if you got the base sizes if you got the men's sizes it doesn't usually seem to increase that much so I just recommend quick flipping it now and reinvesting into the other stuff but yeah here's what it looks like in hand see you've got the beige with the blue lace and then the white lace and then the blue and white laces along with the beige this one doesn't have the mesh paneling this time it is like a foamy it's still mesh but it's like foam it's not see-through like the older model but yeah still cool colorway nevertheless but stay tuned for some more updates right folks so a couple more packages just came in so let's unbox them now see what's inside the um, Supreme Frayed Trucker Jacket in the XL. Um, let's have a look at it. So it is a um, pretty cool piece, nevertheless. It's your standard um, Supreme blank as always, and then it's just got the um, Supreme fraying throughout. Um, pretty cool nevertheless. I'm glad we were able to cop these because these definitely seem on the limited side. Of course with trucker jackets it usually is limited but these are definitely low stock nevertheless. 
But in terms of resale at the moment, I've already sold it for 475, so a lot higher than I predicted because I wasn't too sure on where the market was given the state of Supreme is at the moment. But yeah, I was gassed that it's good for 475 and I was able to sell it at that. I was like, I'll cash out at 475 because looking at previous trucker jackets like the whole puncher one from last season, it goes for around 580 to 600. So it could increase to a brand there, but I thought I'd just cash in at 475 just to be safe. So definitely a good profit nevertheless. We've still got um, five of the jeans to come in which hopefully should come in and don't get cancelled. I haven't received any cancellations yet, so hopefully, fingers crossed. I'll show you what it looks like now. But yeah, as you can see, it's got your frame throughout, your typical um, copper or bronze, bronze buttons, then um, just button up, supreme patch at the back, and distressing throughout. It's got a light distressing around the collar, nothing too fancy, and then it's just the same weight as normal. But yeah, that's cool that we were, were managed to get this one and this one didn't get cancelled. Uh, in terms of this one, let's open it up now. So this one is a um, another Supreme Dunk. I got it in and I saw the price and it was um, too good to be true like I couldn't pass it up it was only 700 so um, I was like I'll pick it up I'll pick it up because um, I've already got buyers around the um, I've got buyers who were wanting to buy it for around the 900 950 mark but yeah um, as you can see, you've already seen it on the channel before, same black colourway um, as before. Hype, hype shoe nevertheless. Um, it definitely will, it will increase in value in my opinion, for sure. Um, I see it re reaching the 1500 mark um, in about 6 months to a year I'd say. But yeah, as I said, I've already got buyers at 950 to 1000 um, so I'm happy about that, that we were able to pick it up at such a good price. But yeah, that's the two pickups we got in today. Stay tuned for some more updates. Right folks, so my UPS plug just dropped off a bunch more packages, so let's unbox them now and see what's inside. Right folks, so the frayed jeans have just come in, as you can see. We've got all five pairs here, no cancellations. We've already seen what the frayed pattern looks like from the denim trucker jacket, which came in already and went straight out. These are sitting around the 320 mark, which is pretty good, like 140, 140 150 on top, which isn't too bad. Um, as you saw from a previous video, I did, ha did have a bulk buyer for these, so these are all sold and just going straight out now. But yeah, we should have some more drops this week, so stay tuned for that. Right folks, so another package just came in the mail. Let's unbox it now. So it is a UK9 Dunk High Premium. Oh, so this is the Dunk, the High Purple Dunk Lakers colorway. Here it is. So as you can see, it's the Lakers colorway. I picked this off, off Offspring. They did a shop drop, Flex Workshop pinged and I thought I'd go for a pair because Dunks always seem to have a bit of profit at least. So I thought it was a Lakers colorway. Might as well try and get a pair and we managed to grab it. Shout out to them. But yeah, from the shoe, it's got your standard purple leather and then yellow swoosh with um, embroidered Nike on the back. But yeah, at the moment they're sitting around the 130 mark. So only about 30 on top, but still profit, profit. But yeah. I'll show you what it looks like now, but it's got the yellow swoosh and then purple leather. Um, it doesn't have black leather panelling, instead it's kind of um, canvas, that's what it is. Canvas material and then um, just your standard um, GR dunk leather. But yeah, 
flat sole. It doesn't come with any extra laces this time. But yeah, that's what the shoe looks like. That's all we got in today. So stay tuned for some more updates. Right folks, so we just got another package in the mail. So let's unbox it now and see what's inside. So we've got the women's um, Jordan 5 in the to my coach I think it is, let's have a look what they look like. It's in a UK 3, US 5.5, um, so I always put this word tape on it so it doesn't flap about in the box, but yeah. I did just win the raffle off size, they didn't do any mesh in stocks, but yeah. Um, this is what the shoe is. It is a mid, they did a low, a mid and a high. I think the mid's probably my favorite in terms of the color blocking. But yeah, it's an interesting shoe. The, this one is just a women's one, but all the, all the colors seem to be more catering to women's, even though the low and the high was a full size run. Um, in terms of the quality, it's not that great. It's okay, nothing special. The suede's not very buttery and then you've got this weird like leather on the side which is um, pretty stiff and and then the side paneling again the same not that soft um, but yeah it's definitely a colourful shoe nevertheless um, it comes with your little to my first coach hang tag and then white sole but yeah in terms of resale Going for around the 150 mark, so only lunch money on these, but still lunch money nevertheless. Um, I think they might increase in value, but I don't know, it's a weird colourway. Um, some people like it, some people don't, so it's definitely um, a, hard, a hard one to judge. But yeah, here's what it looks like in hand, so you can get a better closer lap look. So you've got the blue suede toe box along with the blue leather um, on the front followed by the yellow side panelling and then the white side with the white swoosh and then the sort of peachy red back and midsole along with the white laces and white outsole. But yeah, that's all we got in today. Um, cool pick up nevertheless. Stay tuned for some more updates. Right folks, so another package came in the mail, so let's unbox it now. Right folks, so we got the Jordan 1 Mocha in the size 9.5, it's my personal size so I just thought I'd pick up a personal, I'll either wear it or just hold it, hold it for now and sell it in the future but yeah. I've been after it for a while and I thought why not pick one up. So here's what they are in hand, so you've probably seen a lot of photos of these anyway, um, but yeah. You've got your white paneling with your black and then your um, suede back. But yeah, these are sitting around the 360 mark at the moment. I paid, played around 330 for them, so not too bad. Um, but pretty fine shoe nevertheless. Um, I think it will increase maybe to 450, 500 after some time as well. But yeah, um, I'll show you some shots now of what it looks like. But as I said, the white panelling on the side with the black swoosh contrasted by the mocha back and then the white front and black and then the black sole. Also comes with um, some white laces as well. But yeah, overall, very nice shoe. And I've been looking for this shoe for a while now. And I don't want to pay as much as the Travis Scott, and this is the next first thing. But yeah, this is all we got in today, so stay tuned for some more updates. Thank you folks so much for watching this week's episode. Next week, we should have Supreme drop in some box logos. I know I say it every week, but fingers crossed they drop, so I can grab one for the personal, along with some flips. Also, Jordan 1 Shadows are releasing, which are currently sitting around the 250 mark. There isn't a lot of sites releasing the first come first sub, but Foot Locker I think might be, so we'll definitely run for them. I definitely think it's a good colourway nevertheless, so it definitely increased in value over time. Just, as I said, such a classic colourway, and it gives homage to the OG colourway, and people will like that. 
but yeah definitely stay tuned for that we've also got some mids and dunks restocking as well so be sure to go for them but yeah shout out this week to flex workshop essential cu and vault isps if you need monitors bot bot guides and that sort of thing definitely go check those cook groups out along with the isps from vault are outstanding always hit for me i'm banned on most sites i need and definitely check them in the link in the description but yeah thank you again for watching this week's episode and stay tuned for next week to see how we get on